What up, pimps? Another day on the Talaria. We switch them back and forth from the Talaria to the Rumble Motors Apex. I really can't decide which one I want to ride more. <laughs> it's just too fun. Either one is just awesome. Now this one is more made to uh, stay in the street, but realistically, we say it many times, this is not an e-bike at the end of the day. Let's be realistic. Um, you could throw pedals on it like we always say, but there's no pedal kit yet. And of course, I see the, your guys' comments. I see them all over the place. It's still over 750 watts. It's not an e-bike. And okay, like, yeah, that's the law. But who really cares about the law? As long as you're not going over 28 miles an hour on a legit e-bike, if you do have pedals. So if you do put pedals on this bike, you can be legit. Just stay in the bike lane and follow your local laws. Don't be an idiot. If you ride in the street like I'm doing, just keep in mind that you're probably gonna get this thing impounded. Like you probably could. And a ticket. I don't know what the ticket would technically be. Um, there's no registration, no insurance. I don't know if you get a ticket for that. I don't know how that works. But uh, just keep in mind that can happen. It's been happening all over the internet. Um, I think two two places, two different police departments uh, posted up Sorrell getting towed or ticketed. So uh, just something to think about. So if you really want to just put this in an eco mode, this thing goes up to 30 miles an hour in eco mode. If you have pedals on it, I really don't think a cop is going to flinch about you doing two more miles per hour over the class three limit. I just passed a cop the other day on the Rumble Motors e-bike doing 40, oh, sorry, not 40. I'm looking at this, but I'm right. Uh, it was 37 or 38 miles per hour. The cop was in the bike lane. So like I kind of, you know, moved around him and nothing, nothing happened. They don't care as long as you're just not being an idiot. And honestly, I'm really curious to get pulled over. Like, I would hate to get this bike towed. Like, I want to be able to make sure I can get it. I don't want it to go to auction or anything like that. Because, I mean, I guess that could happen. Okay, okay. What's this traffic doing? But, um, I understand that I'm probably going to get a ticket. I'm just really curious to see, like, what a cop would say. Like, are they just going to be like, hey, like, you shouldn't be riding this in the street? I just want to see, like, a cop's perspective of what they're seriously going to tell me. Like, I really just want to know. And then it'd be nice to record that for you guys too to see what cops in my area say because there are a lot of people in my area that are getting sarons this is before this bike came out and none of these kids or people that are getting them are putting pedals on them now this isn't really a bike you want to put pedals on this is made to well i guess they made this bike to go on the street because you got you know street tires on this one so they kind of made it for street use not off-road you could get off-road tires for it but personally me it's an electric dirt bike at the end of the day. Right. I'm not sitting there and waiting. So there's no, there's a turn lane and the straight lane. It's the same thing. So they're probably going straight. I wasn't gonna sit there and wait the whole time for that. It's crazy that I feel taller than this. Uh, what is this? It's not a PT Cruiser. It's HHR LT, but it looks like a PT Cruiser. But yeah, I'm, I feel taller than this thing. This feels weird. Uh, this is a very short bike. I've had a few people uh, comment and ask, like, how small can you be? So if you guys look right now, my foot is completely bent. I'm 5'9", roughly 5'10", uh, roughly about 5'10", closer to that. Um, I would say that anyone that's probably like 5'2", or 5'3", can actually ride this bike comfortably. Well, I wouldn't say comfortably. I would say at least you probably want to be like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five to you know be able to put your feet like flat on the ground but if you're like five two to five four or whatever you might be on your tippy toes but i feel like you'll still be okay this is definitely a very low bike but if you do put uh, bigger wheels on it you're definitely gonna have a bitch of a time getting on it if you're not a very tall person so hey there's a guy right there there's a the sheriff too let's see if we get pulled over he really looked at it hopefully the gopro got it they're looking I'm gonna get the heck out of here though. I will say that. I'm gonna go slow. I don't have a mirror on this thing, so I can't see behind me. So just in case, I don't wanna be flying and going super fast. That's why I kind of slow down a little bit. But I think we're in the clear. He was definitely checking it out though. These things are really getting around like United States of uh, people riding them and whatnot. 
If I would have had pedals, I think I would have been perfectly fine. He really looked at it. <laughs> he definitely just looked straight at the pedals. Man, not going to get over that now. Just talking about it too. It's crazy. Never know though. Never know. Someone come out with a pedal kit already. Uh, like it needs to happen soon. Like ASAP. <laughs> Now, I think we're in the clear. I don't like to turn around on these bikes with holding the throttle just in case I whiskey throttle it. But uh, yeah, no, we're good. Cop's not coming. So we're gonna head out. Watch me made a U-turn, then come this way. <laughs> you never know, you never know. Why are you going so slow, bro? Why are you going so slow? You just slowed down traffic for me. Now I gotta wait and oh, it's dusty. Hella dusty. Alright, we're on the windy section, so you're gonna hear the loud ass motor and the wind at the same time. So I'll wait until we're off this road because it's a mess. What is that car doing over there? You're in the bike lane, buddy! You're in the bike lane! Woo! Look at guys, I came to a complete stop and I put my foot down. Are you guys happy? Are you guys not entertained? <laughs> I did that for all the people out there that say I do not stop at a four-way stop. They just don't have to. Now let's try to catch up to this car. We're in the bike lane. Now we're in the street. We're like the car in front of us. I think it was the car in front of us that did that. Oh, we're catching up. Let's go, baby, let's go. Hell yeah. I let off. <laughs> We're down to 90%. Uh, it's uh, about a six and a half mile trip to my work. We're probably two miles away at this point. The battery goes like decently down. It's not too bad. Um, I think I said it many times that if you do a lot of like, like the stuff I'm doing, riding in the street, but you're not topped out 24 seven, I feel like you would get about 35, like 30 to 35 miles of range. It also depends on your weight as well. I like it. All right, I'm gonna go this way, actually. I'm gonna take a different way. We probably shouldn't be doing in, doing this because we saw cops. Oh man, region on three is bad. <laughs> I just wish I could pop this thing up right now and everyone's looking at me, just wee! Sir Ronster right here, look at me. But nope, I can't do it. Um, someone else commented and uh, was talking about the rear brake and yes, the rear brake is very, uh, I don't know how you'd say it, it's annoying. It has a very bad uh, noise to it and I think the only way to get around it is just switching out the brake pads because the rotor's fine. Everyone's like, oh, get alcohol, just clean it down or rub it down or uh, bleed the brakes in. I'm like, I'm not new. Like, I appreciate the feedback. I'm not mad about it, but I'm not new to bikes. Like, I do that on all my bikes, and I had, like, about, I think, 15 miles on it or 20 miles when I did that video. So it's like, the brakes were, like, worn in. I do the brakes so much that I make them, like, smoking hot. I did that on this bike when I got it as well, and, yeah, no, it just, it is what it is. I feel like I need to pull over because my phone just keeps going off, and I really don't know what it's for. So... Let me pull over here real quick. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I did get a bunch of other messages, but the main one was for the aerial rider bike we have coming in. So I have a 52 volt X class coming in. That's cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here now. Let's go, Honda! Let's go! Oh, there's a car in front of him. Go! <laughs> go! All right, we're not going any faster. We're actually going slower. <laughs> the speedometer right here is inaccurate, so when it says we're doing like 40, we're probably doing like close to 35-ish. I think the speedo was off. Was it six miles per hour? I think it was off like a lot. I need to go in the settings and change the wheel diameter and get that adjusted. All right, this is uh, gonna have to haul ass. Go, Honda, go. Ooh, a Tezzy. Oh, that's a standard one. That's whack. 
Gotta get the performance one. Let's go, let's go! How fast can I go down here? Oh wait, I don't have my phone up here. So it says 54, 55 on the little thing. Man, I wish the suspension was a little bit more softer. So I feel like when I'm doing almost like 50 miles an hour on this bike, um, it's not as comfortable as a Suron. I feel like the front is a little bit more jumpy. Something I noticed. Man, 4th of July is coming. I don't think the stands are up yet. They're gonna make one here. You guys gonna spend a lot of money on uh, fireworks or what? It's like I want to, but at the same time I don't. Cause it's just a waste of money. Might as well take something and just burn your money. Oh, I should have honked at Allison. I got a horn, but I keep forgetting I have all this stuff down here because I haven't adjusted this yet. So you guys can't see the horn or the, the headlight switch. But anyways, we're here on my little bike. It looks so little when you pull up to the, the window and see yourself. See you guys at nighttime. All right, nighttime again, guys. We chilling. Dang, that loud old BMW. I know you guys can't hear it. Maybe you guys can. He was the one, he was in my video like not too long ago for street racing uh, another car, but he won. It was pretty quick. I'll give him that. I think it's like an old M3. Um, super old, I will say that. But all right, it is time for us to leave and get the hell out of here. We got the, the high beams on. Let's put it in sport mode. Let's get the heck out of here. I saw some people looking at me that pulled up in the parking lot. They were staring. I never know if people are uh, gonna jack me or not. And it also feels weird to be on the sidewalk with this thing. I don't know why, but it just feels weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's interesting. I don't wanna shine my headlight into no one's car. I don't wanna be that person. All right, cool. We good, we good. Um, should I go across? I know I, got, I get a lot of hate for doing this, but it's all right. There we go. It was already turning yellow anyway. It'd be safe, that's all. All right, so let's hope we don't run into any cops. That's all I'm worried about. Now check out this headlight, man. Uh, we've been going back and forth between the Rumble Motors Apex and this, and I got the high beam on and it's still noticeable. I can still see on the road. I'm not, it's, it's not like, oh my God, I can't see it. Just. It's not like, wow, you know what I mean? It just, it is what it is. If you were like in the fours or something like that, you would definitely want to get an aftermarket light for this bike. And I probably shouldn't be riding in the street right now because I'm not going that fast. All right, no one's behind me, we're still good. If I'm gonna be in the street with an e-bike, you better at least be going the speed of traffic or at least be able to go a little bit faster than traffic, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's go, baby, let's go. So the headlight's not bad, you can tell. Um, my hands are also off the bike. It's very nice and sturdy. Um, it does feel pretty light, but surprisingly, I, I still can't get over the fact that it's more heavier than the Suron. But uh, I've mentioned it before, and I believe the reason why it says this is heavier than the Suron, because back in the day, the Suron used to come with a 60 volt, 32 amp hour. Now they're including, is it like a 36 and then a 38 amp hour? I'm pretty positive that 38 amp hour uh, Suron does not weigh less than this. I'm pretty sure it's heavier than this. So this thing has to be lighter because I know how heavy mine is with that aftermarket battery I have. I have a 42 and it's absolutely heavy as hell. Um, real quick, if you guys haven't seen my other videos on this, I'll be, oh, real quick, can you see that? When I hit it, the headlight goes up. <laughs> um, it's something you gotta get used to. And this is the low beam. The low beam is still good. Not too bad, but you can see a little bit more in the trees and stuff like that. And it really helps because when you hit it, it kind of goes up. But it, you know what? Either one's not bad, but for the video, so I want you guys to be able to see a little bit more. Where's it at? Oh my, I lost it. I'm gonna put the high beam on because it's gonna brighten up my GoPro footage and not make it look so grainy. I know how that is over time. How oh, this thing to go off road. Oh God. <laughs> I'm the last person to be doing that. I couldn't even lift up the bike. <laughs> I'm a newbie. 
I literally tried to lift up the bike and it just went <laughs> straight off the curb. I know you gotta like use the suspension. Oh God, I can't even. How are people picking up the front of these bikes? Wow. I don't know, man, that hurts my back. Oh, man, I was told by a doctor a long time ago I was supposed to have an X brace put in my back because it was really, really jacked up. I'm gonna go across. And uh, I never got it done because I really didn't want to do that type of surgery. So I just kind of let myself heal on its own. But my back has never been the same. So as much as I keep saying I want a wheelie, I still want to do it. I just don't know if it's ever going to happen. Oh, I've got to turn on my, uh, my LEDs on my helmet so people can see me. That's one of the coolest mods that I have. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, they should be on now, but apparently, you know, I can't see. Is it coming across? Hopefully it's on. Oh yeah, I think I can see the glow from the bike now. Cool, cool. When I have my phone up here, most of the time you guys can see it. And when I'm on the Rumble Motors uh, e-bike, Rumble Motors? <laughs> uh, you can see it on the carbon fiber a lot. I love this helmet, the helmet lights, but 250 bucks. Ugh. I still haven't made a video on it. I really have it. It's my bad, guys. I, I gotta get an Insta360 to do some like cool shit, but. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, this feels so good. The fact that my feet feel like they're gonna come very close to the ground. Oh man, look at that. Look at that angle right there, baby. Um, they still are not gonna hit. They're actually higher than you would think. And since there's not pedals on them, uh, they feel great. Like I feel like I can really turn this thing without them nicking the ground. Compared to a lot of e-bikes that I, I use, you know, obviously cranks are a little bit longer and they move it as well. So I am a little worried when I do put pedals on this thing, but I might do the same thing I did on my Suron. And what I did on the Suron was I just got shorter cranks. But what, that, what happened with that is that you're like this. If you ever saw the Saw movies, you know the guy that has a little, uh, the little bike and he kind of roams around and he's like, you want to play a game? Think about that with your feet like barely like moving, but they're moving kind of fast. That's all I got to say. Just think about that. So it's not good to pedal at all. All right. All right, we're good. No one's behind me. I cut that out from the video because I know it's going to be hella loud. Every time I look back, you can just hear the wind noise. It's kind of annoying over video. And the bike is pretty annoying as well. Someone pointed out that I believe the chain, uh, it goes through like a little section of the bike. And people were saying that um, it's hitting a little bit of rubbing. So it's like, oh, okay, that might make sense of why it's making a little bit of extra noise. I can hear it when I let off. You can kind of like hear it like kind of hit a little bit. Still not that big a deal. I don't mind. The noise actually kind of feels pleasing. You have something. That was another thing. Um, kind of off topic. But that was a re one reason why I really want to test flip. But I'm like, man, it's going to be so quiet. Am I going to get like bored? And I'm like, I don't get bored of these electric bikes riding them. They're nice and quiet. This one's not. It's, you know, a little pleasing. But I'm trying to think like if I wasn't actually making vlogs and not talking over camera, would I actually enjoy, like, complete silence is what I'm trying to say. Like, is it going to be boring? Is it going to feel weird? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it yet, so I'm like, oh, am I not going to like it? It's not like you can really uh, buy a Tesla and return it, like, a week later or maybe a month later. I feel like a month is a good time to kind of uh, explore a car and see if you like it or not. Test driving it a little bit, but you still don't get to learn, like, everything on the bike during a test ride. And someone's car was hella loud over here. I don't know whose car that was. I'm full out, ladies and gentlemen, full out. We're at 68% battery. I wish I would have caught that at 69%, but oh well, it is what it is. Passing uh, in and out. Smells so good. I wonder when we're going to get smell-o-vision for your TV or whatever so you can smell what's on TV. They have to do it one of these days. Oh, so good. So, so good. I'm loving it. It looks like this light's gonna probably turn red because this car that's turning the van, they're gonna probably mess it up for everybody. Let's see though, let's see. Oh no, hey, we made it. We definitely made it. Okay. Now, the thing is, let's see if we can actually like get over. Who's making all that noise? Is there a motorcycle up here? Oh, there is a motorcycle guy up here. I see him. Let's go this way, why not? I ain't got nothing else better to do. 
What's he doing? He's going in the dirt. It's just a dirt path right there. I'm coming for you, buddy. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm full out. I can't go anymore. I feel like he's gonna like pass him. Ooh, is there cops over here? Why is there a blue light over here? What the hell? I don't even know why I'm going this way. What am I doing? I need to go home. <laughs> I'm full out. I can't catch up. This is only supposed to be a 45, and this bike should be doing about 45 right now. About 45, 46. I just can't keep up. It just needs a little tiny bit more power. It really does. I don't know why, like, a lot of people can compare this to a motorcycle. I mean, I get what you guys are saying. It's like a motorcycle, but... No, nah, man, it's not. <laughs> this guy can smash on me hella fast. I really don't know what I'm doing out here, so... And the guy, look, the guy's gone. He's, like, moving. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna make a U-turn. I'm gonna go back home. I got stuff to do. I will say, because this bike goes so fast, like stock anyways, it actually makes me enjoy riding it so much more. And the fact that it's pretty comfortable, the seat is okay. I know there's gonna be companies that come up with a seat and it's gonna be a lot better. And I'm definitely gonna jump on that opportunity. Um, I love it though. It just, it's just pure fun. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not super fast, but it's not e-bike slow, but it's not motorcycle fast. It's just, it's kind of in the middle just to kind of have a good time. The power is real gradual. Like if you're not used to it, trust me, you're gonna think this thing is absolutely insanely powerful. But when you come from a 72 volt e-bike or a couple of them, uh, this is not that powerful. But 60 volt is a seat sweet spot. God, I cannot, I cannot talk today. After working 10 hours, it's rough. This is seriously the sweet spot for uh, bikes, I feel like, it's 60 volt. There's a uh, Wicked Freedom e-bike, everyone keeps talking about it. I'm not gonna order one, but I feel like that would be a sweet ass bike too. I'm not exactly sure on the wattage. I don't know if it's 3,000 or 2,000, I don't know. But I heard really good things about it. 60 volt is just, it's the way to go. We're gonna have to run this, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through it. Hopefully we don't get ticketed for that. And this thing's really not gonna get picked up by light. So when a lot of you guys are saying like, how come you went through a red light? Well, if I'm in the bike lane and there's no traffic there, then it's not gonna go. It's just gonna keep doing the other lanes that are crisscrossed from me. And then if I'm in the street and I'm the only one there, it's never gonna pick me up as well. You would literally have to uh, go onto the sidewalk or make a U-turn and kind of go backtrack a little bit to go to the pole and then go hit the, the little button for it to, you know, use the crosswalk. But uh, at the same time, I, I don't know, like I'm kind of in between about this bike shouldn't be in the bike lane unless you're really going to follow the laws and go 28 miles an hour. But, you know, uh, be safe. I say it all the time in all of my videos. I can't stress it enough. Just know your area and know where you're at if you're going to be doing stuff like that. And if you get a ticket or you get it impounded, then, you know, don't. Don't come after me, you don't come after anyone else that told you to buy it or because you like the videos and whatnot. Seriously, this is not a street legal bike. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys that from day one. Even if I was to make a thousand dollars selling these things left and right, which I don't, I don't make any commission, I still tell you guys, these things are not street legal and do not buy them unless you're willing to put pedals on them. And even then, it's a gray area. It's like a loophole, but it's technically still not legal, but you might get away with it. So just saying. Oh God, there's cops. Should we go down that way? We should go down that way, huh? What am I doing? I need to go home. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I do have my helmet lights on. I wonder if they would uh, say anything. They're not gonna know I am not a street legal bike right now when passing them. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I didn't even see any of them. 
Unless maybe the GoPro caught him, I doubt it, but I couldn't see any of them. I don't know, interesting. As long as they're not moving, I don't have a mirror on the bike yet. It's something we gotta get, man. Seriously, uh, so if you guys buy one of these bikes, make sure you get protection. I know you guys don't see anything on my hands right now. Um, it's just because it's very hot right now in California, but I have a straight up motorcycle jacket. It cost me 600 bucks. I'm gonna come to a complete stop right now. Oh, oh God, there is a uh, car coming behind. I don't know if it's a cop or not. I'm out of here. <laughs> Uh, it looked like cop lights, so I'm gonna get out of here. Their lights weren't on, but I know what cop lights look like for headlights. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, another thing is, make sure you're gonna spend some money on gloves. Get some type of vest. I have a vest on. It's uh, made for motorcycles. Icon Skylar vest. Look up at your local like cycle gear or something like that. Um, another thing too is you might want to look at some uh, pants or something like that. You know that have Kevlar in them, especially if you're a little worried about going down. Or a Beyond Riders also has some uh, pants as well. God, turn your high beams on. Oh wait, I have my high beams on. Never mind. You're okay. You're okay. Is there, is there a car behind me? I don't think anyone turned this way. Hold on, let me, uh, let me do this. Okay, we're good. That was one thing I wanted to say earlier is when that sheriff uh, looked at this bike. I don't think the GoPro caught it. We already talked about it a little bit. But when I looked at him and locked eyes with him, he looked at the bike first and then he looked straight down to see if i think this thing had pedals or not and i'm pretty sure he would have pulled me over if he was like behind me or all, like coming out of a neighborhood or a side street you know and i was gonna pass him but um what i wanted to say was don't make it obvious if you're like passing a cop like that just act cool act like you belong there don't be an idiot don't be zigzagging just you know just keep it cool do not keep looking behind you over and over and over because that's a dead giveaway. If I was a cop and someone passed me and the first thing they did immediately was look behind me or, or look to see me and I see behind, like in my mirror, I can see them. I'd be like, oh yeah, like there's something up with them. I would probably more likely go after them if I was a cop. I'm just saying. But um, anyways, it's not a range test. I'll let you guys know really quick, but 47%, um, I don't really know how much I went. I probably did actually like, 15 miles roughly i'd say probably like 15 miles maybe 16 maybe closer to 16 uh, for about half the battery almost i said it's not terrible there's a party going on am i ever gonna get home i feel like i'm never ever gonna go home party i want to join i don't know i got some stuff to do at the house we gotta edit we gotta clean up some stuff my purifier is going off say my air quality is bad so i gotta take care of that baby i don't want to die we gotta live forever, do e-bike videos until, uh, can you retire on YouTube? I don't think you can, can you? Oh man, I just saw something bad right now. Should I go home or should I go this way? That car right there, that car. That's not good. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Like when there's a car sitting right there, it's never good. Um, there's always drug deals going down there. Uh, my neighbor, she actually moved away. Uh, she got robbed over there. It's a bad section back there, trust me. So every time I see a car back there, all right, they're not coming after me. Um, a little sketchy. I mean, people could be over there hooking up as well too. One of my coworkers said that she saw two people in the car hooking up in the back seat. I was like, were they butt naked or were they were just like, you know, doing a little bit of stuff, you know, like in the back, like nothing crazy. I can't even see someone doing that. It was like daytime. It was like 8 p.m. And here it doesn't get dark until like 8.39. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Anyways, I'm home, guys. You guys are the true MVPs. I was going to end this video a long time ago. This night riding stuff just took off, man. I don't know. We rode forever. That's one reason I like the bike. Super fun. Can't go wrong with it. I do wish they would have fixed the seat, though. The, fix, the seat needs to be a little tighter, but we'll replace the seat one of these days. All right, see you guys. It thought I was working out. I forgot to turn my watch off. It's always annoying. Later. Peace out.